84 kilogram category and a fierce fighter here from Iran, Ziabula Porjab. Hana Abdulayev from Azerbaijan. Now both these countries, Iran and Azerbaijan, producing amazing Kumite players. Porshab was a world bronze medalist at under-21 level in 2015. He's won two Karani One Premier Leagues. He was second in Tokyo this year. Porshab had a bye in the first round, had a 2-0, 2-0, 0-2 loss then. Came back 3-1 in the repechage. Abduliev came through the rounds. He had a 2-2 draw, but won that in the first round. 4-3 in the second. 3-2, 1-0. Lost in the semi-final. One point to three. We have here two countries really strong in Kumite, Azerbaijan and Iran. So, in terms of medal wins between the two, Porchab's had more success. Abduliev hasn't just yet, but is this the day that changes? Will he take a bronze medal away from Porsche? We'll know in the next three minutes or so. Passivity warnings for both category two, Chikoku. Pushab is searching to close the distance more. Yeah. Abdulayev uh, just fired in that Jonang Kazamazuki didn't quite come off for him. Right now, Haito Uchi. Haito, yes. Porsche just holding his ear as that came in, but Abduliev is warned for holding on. He's now on Kekoku category two. Video challenge from the coach of Pana Abduliev. Yeah, we saw a counter attack with the front hand. The chance to see there's Azuki on the bottom left hand screen. There was Azuki came in there from Porsche as he moved in. Abduliev threw in that front hand, Gazamazuki. And it's been rejected in correct distance. Back into the match in the last 50 minutes or so, 50 seconds or so. Point for Blue, Kisamizuki. This time it is indeed Abduliev who takes the point. And he has the Senchu advantage. He's flailing his legs out to stop Poor Sharp getting close to him. Not a problem. Didn't make any contact unnecessarily. So no warnings. That looked pretty good, that Kazamazuki, didn't it? From Abduliev. There is a video challenge from the coach of Zabiola Porshab. Can be possible, I think. He 
see the the Zuki top left hand screen. There's the Zuki from Porsche. There we will see. No. That's the one, that left hand, and then followed by the right. That was the left hand punch that went in. Uh, yes, that one did look pretty good, didn't it? So it was a good call from the coach of Zabiola Porciab. I think this is the first time we've seen the yeah. video review successful. There's yes. been a lot of challenges, but that's the first time that it's actually been a good call. You have to say that Darren coach is always so smart with this, with the video review. Yes. It's close there, Jeremy Mawashi there from Porciab. Into the last 17 seconds. The Hans Fokachui against Abduliev but it was outside the last hit, so he still has the Senchu Porchab taking a fair old knock there Abduliev quite happy to full foul of category one for a contact violation yes he had to because he won't lose his Senchu as a result of that Porchab just having a a bit of attention from the doctor. Nine seconds left. Porsche must score at least one more point if he's to overcome this sensual advantage that's being held by Abduliev. Abduliev cannot full foul of a Category 2 warning anymore because he's already on Hansoka Chui. If he were to have another Category 2 warning, he would lose the bout with Hansoku. So in Category 1, the warnings are generally around contact violations. Category 2 are lots of other things like stepping off the tatami, holding on, pushing or pulling. Yeah, and in this case, the athlete from Azerbaijan couldn't do any more Category 2, so he had to hit. And he has a category one, Kekoku. Nine seconds they go. Porchev tries out to Danzuki, tries to Joe Danzuki. And the clock on screen hasn't counted down from nine seconds. Video request. That's a video again. challenge. And this will be an important call. There's a Chudanzuki being claimed here from the coach of Zabiola Porshab. Well, if that was the one, it looks like it could have passed. And that's been rejected. So they're looking here, and put, you can see Paul Sharp here just dis gesticulating. Because he did where the so techno many techniques. He did more than one technique, didn't he? The time didn't run. No, he was he stopped on nine seconds. Now there's a there's an issue with the scoreboard because the scoreboard is now recording. It was 14. It's now five seconds. So it's 
so it's now being corrected. And that punch came in at the end of time. So the win will go to Pana Adoliev of Azerbaijan. And it was the difference was the century. Because he had that Hansokachu, he was outside the last 15 seconds, he didn't lose the century. That's holding up his T-shirt, not quite sure what it says on it. He turns it round. Oh, yes, it is uh, probably his mentor. Yeah. The uh, world champion, five times world champion, Rafael Agueya. And that's the Kazamazuki right on the button there. That's the one that scored him that vital point. Where he